Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be creating this uh, day and night cycle. We will learn how to create this procedures cloud shader and these procedures stars, uh, the moon and the sun. This city is actually just um, uh, a low poly free model I actually borrowed. So you'll also learn to create this transition and notice how the clouds are animated and it's actually just a shader, a simple shader. And the uh, stars are also animated and it's also a procedural shader which will actually save you a lot of uh, render times. For this tutorial, we will be needing um, this moon texture. I will actually leave a link to it in the description below. It will actually help us uh, make the moon shader really easily. And you can also download any kind of uh, uh, low poly 3D city. Just Google uh, free 3D models and do you not know, take any one of these free uh, 3D models. It's actually dependent on you. So um, to start up, we will. Uh, I'll tell you what the settings you need. Uh, you need to turn on bloom, ambient occlusion, and the rendering should be EV. And, uh, and when you're done downloading the uh, free 3D city models, click File, Import. It can be any one of these file formats. Uh, I have the wave object format, so I'll be importing it into the uh, scene. Uh, now that the city is imported, we will actually start uh, creating the scene. So first of all, uh, create a new collection. We will call this cloud. Then create another collection. Uh, we will call this sun moon collection. And then the last collection we will be creating is the star collection. Because I want to be organized a little bit in this one. So first of all, we will click on the cloud uh, collection and add in a sphere, shift A, mesh, sphere scale it and it should be covering all of the buildings at least click on 7 to check up the top, top view and you can see that it's covering all of the buildings so right click to shade smooth and then tab into edit mode 1 to go into front view click on face select mode Z wireframe deselect everything B to box select and then uh, delete the lower half X faces right now it's deleted then again um, B to box select or just like the lower half of this this and shift T S to scale it out this will be our horizon just scale it a little bit more and we're going to move out of edit mode name this sphere as cloud dome then shift T S to click extend it and create another really big one yes I think this is about it I think a little bit smaller this this is good enough and we're going to call this one Star dome and move it into the star collection. Collection now click on the sun and moon dome. I'm going to hide this star uh, dome. Uh, three to move it, uh, three to into sideways and shift A mesh UV sphere G Y to move it on the side and scale it up a bit. G Z to move it up and we're going to copy its Y coordinates. Control C and uh, this position isn't exactly final right now, but you know, this is going to be our moon since the scene starts with the moon and then shift a empty plane axis and co paste its um, the coordinates to copy of the uh, y axis to here. And I'm just going to make this empty a little bit bigger and then click on the moon again and copy its z coordinates and then shift e g z paste its uh, uh, coordinates onto the new moon but with a minus in front of it and then click scale to s to scale and this will be our sun the big one is going to be our sun we also need lights because it's even and it doesn't affect uh, uh, the light directly so shift a, a light point g y to move it over here and then g z to move it about in front of the moon, I think about here and shift D G Z to this one to move this one about in the place of the sun. So now the lights uh, need to be painted with the moon. So, uh, but, but before we do that, we're actually going to change the radius to 0 0.1, the power to 1000 for now. Again, this is not finalized light uh, power, we might have to change it, and then uh, 3000 for the sun. The radius should also be 0.1 for this one too, and the color of this one is going to be this orange type of color. 
Now, uh, paint the lights to the sun and the moon. So click on the light first, then on the sun. Control. Oh, then click shift and, and select the sun too, and then click control P. Paint to object. Do the same with the moon one. Control P to object, and then click on the moon, then the sun, and then finally the empty, and then control P to object. This way, whenever wherever I move the empty, the sun and moon will follow. They will also rotate along with this. This will help us create our day and night cycle effect. So now I'm going to go into the rendered view and we're going to start making the materials for the um, everything. We need to have um, the shader editor and the and the rendered view side by side. So we're going to start with the world tab first. So change this object to world and the background color is already there so uh, add in a color ramp and a noise texture move this about here yeah, about here and then change the white one to this dark nighty blue color I think this looks good enough so now we're going to um, start creating the shaders for the star dome first. So I'm going to remove the uh, hide the cloud dome, and I'm going to make the star dome visible. So we're going to be needing obviously two materials for this. First, uh, create the first material, new material, and call this name this star. Then create another material and call this horizon. Click on tab to go into edit mode and assign the horizon to just this outer ring. And then uh, click on select invert. Click on the star one and assign uh, assign the inner dome the star one. So we're going to tab out. Now first we're going to create this star material. So remove the principal BSG shader. Shift A. Mix shader. Plug it right into the surface. Then uh, duplicate the mix shader. And assign it, um, join it to the first mix shader. Then we're going to be needing transparent shader. Shift A, T R N S transparent. We can use Shift A to actually call these. Um, so this transparent shader is for both of them. And we also need an emission shader. Shift A and emission shader. And set is set its strength to uh, about 10 we are also going to be needing a color ramp plug it into the uh, first mix shader and duplicate it because we uh, require different settings for both of them so we have to duplicate it we can choose it for both of them so that's why uh, plug it in, into this one and then we're going to add a noise texture over here after the noise texture, uh, we need a multiply. Oh, sorry, we need a math node. Change the math node type to multiply. I always forget that uh, it's actually math node, not multiply node. That's the problem. And now finally, we need a Voronoi texture. And plug its distance to both of these values. And um, we also need to change its blend mode. So blend mode should be alpha clip. And shadow mode should also be alpha clip. The blend modes really, really matter. It matters in almost all of the new materials you're going to see in the cloud one, in the horizon one. So uh, now to uh, make it look star like, these are just weird patches. So change the scale to about 70. You can actually see it starts looking uh, star like. But we don't want them to be uh, this intense. So change the color ramp to, you know, make them slightly less intense. Maybe increase the scale to add more stars. Like this, you can actually see them how they look. And uh, if you actually want a distribution to be different, like over here, you can see that it's actually uh, a blank spot over here, then multiple stars over here layered like in weird clusters. But if you want them to be more distributive, again, this is a procedural way, that's why you can actually change a lot of it. So when I change this to our, uh, when I change the scale of the noise texture over here, the distribution actually changes. Now you can see that they're, they're not like this weird patches. 
So increase it, decrease it, however you like it. I still like it around 15. I think that looks okay, or maybe like 12. And if you want them to uh, disappear, you can actually use this um, color ramp to uh, make them appear disappear. You can do that by using keyframes. So I'm going to teach you how to use keyframes over here right now, and uh, you need to understand them uh, in this one so that you can actually animate the rest of them yourself. So um, let's say uh, the scene is obviously starting with the night scene. So on frame zero, I'm going to uh, click on this slider because this slider part is the one that uh, controls the appearance of star. And on the position, click I to add keyframe. And then let's say on frame 120, it's daytime. So I don't want the stars to be, uh, I want the stars to be completely disappeared by then. So I'm going to move the slider over here and then click a keyframe over here to make them disappear. So now when I play it, you can actually see the stars are slowly vanishing. Vanishing. And obviously you can change the description and the car and everything else you want. So the next material we're going to be tackling is the horizon. So click on the horizon material over here. And also remove the principal BSG from it too. The blend mode for this one is actually going to be different. It's going to be alpha blend. It actually really matters over here. And the shadow mode couldn't be alpha clip obviously. So Shift A to add an, a mix shader. I'm actually going to zoom in out so we can see the uh, shader properly. Plug it into the surface. Then add in an emission because I don't want the uh, horizon to react with the environment. That's why the emission is here. It doesn't react to the environment. And we're going to need in a transparent PSTF over here and a color ramp. A gradient texture, a separate XYZ plug in the Z with, into the vector of the gradient texture, a mapping node into the vector of the separate XYZ, and a texture coordinate. They generated into the location because they we are going to edit the location. So when I move the uh, slider of the color ramp over here, you can actually see that it's generating a halo sort of gradient effect. But uh, in nighttime, it's actually not this white the horizon. So we're going to make it slightly more darker but lighter than the environment around it. Which actually reminds me, I think I should make the world slightly more darker. Yes, I think this about looks here. Good. So the horizon should be slightly lighter than the world around it. So now that we're done with the uh, horizon and the star dome, the same horizon uh, shader is being used for the uh, cloud dome. Oh, I think we haven't assigned it the material. So I'm going to click on the cloud dome, give it a new material, and then add in another material. Then this is going to be the horizon material. So tab, give the uh, ring around the horizon material and I think the other dome already has uh, the um, cloud material on it. So I'm going to tab out. You can actually see this. There are two layers of horizons. That's because it actually makes this, uh, a lot better of an effect to actually say it not well. So let's hide the star dome for now. And now the sun and moon one, uh, we actually need to work on it next. So I'm going to click on the moon first. Going to give it a new material called moon. Uh, before we continue, if you want to learn how to create uh, blood moons and how to animate them, I also did a tutorial back then uh, when my channel was new. So I'm going to leave the link uh, to their this tutorial as well in my description below. So if you want to check that out, uh, please do give it a look if you want to uh, learn how to do blood moons. So uh, for the moon, obviously you're going to need the moon texture. I ask you to download the link is in the description. The latest principle BSCF. Add in an emission shader. This is going to be uh, so easy. This trend to 10. Add in a color ramp. Add in an image texture. Plug the image texture into the factor of the color ramp and the color ramp's color into the emissions color and then open the texture up wherever you have. You probably have it in your downloads. So I actually have it over here. And now when you see the moon, let me just scale this up for you. 
you can see that it's actually really detailed you, you didn't have to do much about it and the next one is going to be the sun shader the sun is going to be really simple even more simpler than the moon because we want to uh, give it a little bit of presence like there is something diff uh, different colors but there isn't exactly just one color so emission strength is higher than the um, moons plug it in add in a color ramp add in a noise texture the color into the color ramp and the color into color and um, I'm going to change it into this orange type of color and the white into this yellow type of color move it about here and I think this looks good or maybe you can actually move it a little bit further if you want I think this is what we are like I said um, we should be able to see there's something but there's not something too intense so now finally the uh, last material the cloud dome so the related principle VSTF shader and the blend mode of this should be alpha blend and the shadow mode should be alpha clip so uh, first add in a mix shader shift a mix mix shader plug it into the surface duplicate it and add connect the first one into the second one mix shader then add in an add shader and plug the add shaders uh, into both of the mix shader then we also need in an emission shader the emission shader makes sure that the uh, it doesn't react to the environment but we don't want it to completely ignore the environment so that's why we're going to add in a translucent uh, bsdf this will make sure that it reacts to the environment but not too much with the environment like how diffuse completely just uh, uh, fades back forward into the environment so now we need in a color ramp plug it into the effect of the first mix shader and then uh, noise oh, not white noise noise texture and we also need a mapping node and texture coordinates generated into its uh, vector so now the magic begins when I move this slider to about over here you can actually see the clouds fading away oh I think I forgot to add another uh, we also need to add in a transparent PSCF into the first mix shader I actually forgot and now you can see that the clouds are red so you can actually change their thickness to full foggy to uh, barely any clouds uh, obviously the same way we will we can add keyframes over here in the start or in the end uh, like i said these are really versatile shaders you can also animate their uh, their rotation location by adding keyframes like this it's all about uh, you understanding where's what so i think the light isn't exactly uh, strong enough of the moon so let's click on the uh, moonlight and pop up to 3000 and we can see that it's actually affecting it and the sunlight it will be 6000 so um, and with all the materials completed now i'm going to add the keyframes for them but first i think uh, i need to place the camera so i'm going to click the camera and um, we also need to um, with the stardom up here so i'm going to click the camera change the rotation to 90 on the x 0 on the z and I'm going to click or to see where it is so it's location on the x to 0 and i'm going to move it a little bit backwards so i can see the city as well about here I think this looks good so now we're, we're going to click the empty 
and click I on its rotation and on frame 120 it's going to be daytime so I want the I'm going to change the value to 180 and going to click I on it so you can see how the, how the light is actually affecting the city so this is how it's going to move and the uh, stars are already animated from our previous keyframe so I'm just going to leave them at that now I'm going to click on the cloud dome So on um, frame 0 I wanted location and rotation to be the same but their thickness I actually wanted to be a little bit more than this uh, I think over here I think about over here I'm gonna click. I think I moved the camera a little bit too far back but for now it's okay so on I I actually want them to be like this and on frame 20 I want the clouds to clear up a little bit more uh, about here And um, I I already had the keyframes over here. So on frame 20, I want their location to be a little different. I'll divide to like about over here and rotation to. I'm just adding random values. You can do you know whatever you want and uh, click I, click I on them. So now it actually moves like this. And the final touch I think is uh, the horizon too. The horizon on the night time. I'm going to click on I to this. Uh, this. But on the uh, modern time I actually wanted to be a lot lighter. So for now it's going to be like this. I. So you see how the horizon actually changes color. Now the world tab. Object world at night time I want this color to be obviously this dark color which I had in the start but on frame 120 when it's morning I want them to be lighter I And I think that's about it. So, um, if you guys want to still learn the Blood Moon tutorials, uh, I'll have a link in the description too. So, please leave a like, comment, share it with a friend, subscribe to our channel uh, to help it grow more. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.